Hello again, folks. Welcome back. And um, we're actually backtracking a little bit from our previous video's location. Um, we went back east along the Lehigh and New England bed. I know that we were highlighting the Lehigh Valley's Pottsville branch, but the Lehigh and New England Tamaqua branch was running side by side next to the Lehigh Valley's Pottsville branch from Lizard Creek Junction to Snyder's, Pennsylvania, which is where we are now. We have Pennsylvania Route 309 um, right in this direction here. So it's gonna, there's gonna be some traffic noise, I apologize. And I know you can't tell that we're on a rail bed now, but I'll clarify that for you in a second. And uh, also came across this huge piece of slag in the ground that I thought was really, really neat. <clears throat> very it's like glass like obsidian almost it's really cool just all kinds of different minerals and deposits in this thing it's like slime rock slime but not slimy at all very cool and then right over here we got a pile of ties which may have been for the bridge itself, or it may have been for just the uh, the roadbed. But, yeah, tie right there. So again, this is Lehigh, New England, uh, Tamaqua Branch, Snyder's, Pennsylvania, and they had a bridge that crossed Pennsylvania Route 309 here. And then right to the south, is the Lehigh Valley Railroad that they crossed at grade. They did not have a bridge. Um, I, if anybody's familiar with the John P. videos, he's got a few different Lehigh New England videos, and I believe that one or multiple of them may highlight this particular bridge. I'll see if I can locate a picture of this bridge and use it for the thumbnail of the video, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Again, another railroad tie right there. <clears throat> and then this is this is where they would have had a bridge uh, let me see if I can zoom in real quick right there that little piece of concrete there that is part of the former bridge abutment now that's been uh, the fill's been dug out and it's someone's driveway now I actually have walked down that and there's a little culvert little concrete culvert actually the first concrete culvert I ever saw of the Lehigh New England that was about a year ago or so that I found that one. Uh, nothing special, but it was just cool to find it. It actually uh, crosses the same creek that the uh, Lehigh Valley Railroad built a really beautiful culvert for that was maybe two videos back from this one. So, very interesting to see the different designs. Uh, pretty substantial size bridge right here. And this thing, this 309's been hauling coal and, and quarry products back and forth for for as long as I can remember. So it would have had to been a pretty decent sized bridge for trucks to go under it, but once it was abandoned, it was no longer needed and uh, removed. See, very busy road. So, guys, you know what? Let's go, let's go take a walk and not fall down the hill. <laughs> uh, try and get across 309 without getting killed. A quick look at these uh, bridge abutments or the remains of these bridge abutments on the other side. <clears throat> All right, we actually got a clear shot. Now you can see how decent size that, that grade is there that we just came down. And then this concrete right here certainly is what remains from what held the bridge span that used to cross 309. So that's your, that's your Lehigh New England Railroad bed heading east. We got a posted sign right there, so we won't be heading down there today. Um, all right, I'm gonna go make a short video about where uh, the Lehigh New England crosses 895. So I'll see you guys down there.